Hey, welcome to another Lightroom Classic tutorial. In this video, we are going to apply some very deep orange blue tones on this drone image. So the finished shot will look like this. If you want to follow along, you can find the raw file in the description of the video. And now let's begin. Here we are in Lightroom. Let's go through it step by step. So first off in the basic tab, I do want to change the profile from Adobe Color to Adobe Standard, which will give us a more flat image to begin with. Then for the white balance, right now you can see the whole image is kind of more on the bluish side. So I do want to change that and bring up the temperature, giving the shot more of a golden hour feeling. Also, I do think I want to drop the tint just a little bit. Okay, looks good so far, but the next problem is the brightness of the image, especially up in the upper area. You can see there is some kind of overexposure going on. At least we don't see much details in the fog and in the sky. So let's just change that by bringing down the highlights. And we already have a much more balanced shot. At the same time, I do want to raise the shadows a bit, giving us some more details in the darkest parts. And I also want to raise the whites. Just kind of want to spread the histogram more towards the right side for a balanced exposure. And finally, let's raise the blacks. All right. So that's the image after the base adjustments. As you might notice, we lost a lot of contrast. That's compared to before, but the colors look much better. Now, don't worry about the contrast. We will change that in the upcoming steps. So for that, I can simply add some dehaze, which will already help with the contrast. I also want to bring up the clarity and some texture just to give this image some sharpness. Finally, I do want to add a little bit of vibrance for some stronger color tones. All right, that's it for the base adjustments. Now let's head into the masking menu. Here we can enhance the contrast a lot more. I do want to start on the sky with a linear gradient and I'm just dragging it down like that. This is looking good to me, so let's bring down the exposure. I'm going to drop it quite a bit here. I think that looks pretty good. Now, of course, I don't want this cloud on the left side to be affected. So I'm going to click on that mask and say subtract. Here I'm using the brush tool and I'm making sure the auto mask setting is selected. So I can safely brush over this cloud on the left side and get rid of that dropped exposure on the upper part here. Perfect. Next up, I do want to enhance the contrast in the very near foreground, or let's say in the bottom part of the image. Here I'm using another linear gradient and I'm just dragging it up like this. So in here, I'm going to reduce the shadows again. I'm also going to add some contrast. And then let's add some texture and some more clarity. And as you can see, we now have much, much more contrast going on in the bottom area. So that's looking pretty good. And at that point, that's already it for the masking. Now let's work on those orange blue tones I was talking about in the intro. First off, I'm heading into the HSL tab. Here I do want to adjust the hue. Right now we have pretty much no orange tones in here. We can change that by simply dropping the green hue and for a further increased effect, I am dropping the yellow hue. So as you can see, the more I drop it, the more orange tones we get in here. This is looking way too much, so I'm going to tone it down a bit. But I think that looks like a good spot. Then let's switch over to the saturation tab and just bring up the yellow saturation a bit just to make those tones a little stronger. I can also bring down the green saturation just so we don't get overwhelmed by too much colors in here. All right, finally, I'd like to make the sky a little more vibrant. So just bring up the blue saturation. Perfect. Finally, let's head into the luminance tab. Here, I do want to raise the yellow luminance, making those orange yellow spots in the foreground a little brighter. So it's kind of like dodging the image in Photoshop. 
Next, I do want to darken the sky some more by bringing down the blue luminance. But that's looking pretty good. All right, then let's continue in the color grading tab for the split toning. Here for the highlights, I'm going to use a warm color tone. So let's change the hue first. Maybe somewhere in the yellow range and now just bring up the saturation. I don't want to apply too much. Just use a rather low amount in this case. Okay. And for the midtones, again, I'm using a warm color tone for the hue. I'm going to raise the saturation quite a bit more. Just like that, maybe. And for the shadows, I am going with a cold color tone. And let's add some saturation. Okay. Looks good to me. The final part of the color grading is happening in the calibration tab. Here, I'm just starting by bringing down the blue primary hue, which will make those warmer tones more intense and more orange, as you can see. So let's drop them just a bit like that and raise the saturation a lot. I do want this shot to be colorful, so that's a good option here. Also, I do want to bring down the red primary hue very, very slightly. Maybe like this. And that's it for the color grading already. Now, the final thing we can do is to sharpen the shot. So in the details tab, I'm dropping the radius, increase the details, add some masking, and finally increase the amount of sharpening. And here we have the finished image with those intense orange blue tones. I hope this video was helpful and interesting. If you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.